Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be opening up two little dolls. I have them both right here. They're both from JC Toys Company and this company makes really cute dolls. Like their faces are just really cute. The first one I have is this little one. It's called Little Cuties and I actually saw these at Walmart. I've seen them at Walmart a lot. I don't know if they still have them, but whenever I did see them at Walmart, I always thought they were just adorable. So I picked out this one on Amazon and this is the only one they said that has two little teeth in there and I just thought that was so cute because it's like the two little bottom teeth and those are always like in my experience the two teeth that come in first on a baby so I thought she was adorable I like her big eyes so we're gonna open up her and then I also got this one from Amazon too this one is just called La Baby and it's I think only 11 inches tall so it's pretty small I thought that one was really cute too just like its face so Let's jump in and open these two. I'm gonna start with this one. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with dolls forever. So I think this is really cool to just be opening up dolls now on YouTube and kind of reviewing them, seeing what they're like, whether I like them or not. Ooh. Okay, didn't even have to break the box. I just had to cut her little ties, but here she is, she is cute. I love her little blue eye, her big blue eyes. Let's get this off of her. Don't need that. So her legs move, cute. Her arms move, Oh, she's so cute. She's so little. Look how little she is. Let's see, my favorite part, one of my favorite parts is undressing them. I don't know why. I always just wanna see what they look like with their clothes off. Let's get this piece of string off and let's see if she has a diaper. I don't think she does, but uh, no, she doesn't have a diaper, darn. So she has her little onesie. It was really easy to take off. We'll see how easy it is to get back on. But one thing that I liked about this doll was that I'm pretty sure it can go in the water. Like you can give it a bath and stuff. Um, so maybe we'll try that out in this video or another video, probably another video, we'll do the bath, but that is what she looks like. Her belly is so cute. She's got little rolls. I think it's adorable. That's what I mean about these dolls. They're like very realistic looking, even just like these little ones that are inexpensive have just great detail to them. So what her little butt looks like. She's got little butt dimples. How adorable. Her feet even have, let me see if I can show you. Her feet even have little wrinkles in them. That is so cute. That is what she looks like. And get a close up of her face, little teeth. <laughs> I think she's so cute. She's a little bow in her hair. She's a cute little size, adorable. And they make a, like a bunch of these, I think maybe like six different ones. I don't know, but you can see on the back of the box, there's like a couple of different ones you can get, like collect all the different ones. Um, but like I said, I wanted this one because she has the little teeth and I just thought that was adorable. So let's go ahead and get her dressed back up again. I do wish she came with a diaper. I feel like every little baby doll should just come with a diaper because without a diaper, it's just, I don't know. Every baby needs a diaper, right? Maybe I'll be able to make her one but it would just be nice if she came with one. So that is the only thing that I would change. And it's just nice when like each doll comes with its own diaper that's specific and like fits them well. So yeah, that's my only kind of complaint. But other than that, she is adorable. Now let's open this one. So this is our little baby girl. And then this is our little baby boy. Could be a girl too, if you want it to be. Well, actually, sometimes you can make it a girl or a boy, depending on what you want. But with these dolls, also sometimes they are anatomically correct, which means they'll actually look like a boy and look like a girl when you take their clothes off. So I think that is really cool too. This one is not though. You have to get the more expensive ones if you want that feature. But, oh, sorry, baby. So here he is. I'm gonna call him a he because I want him to be a boy. Let's get him out of here. Careful, cut him. Oh, this one has a thing back here. His hand already looks so cute. It's 
little fingers. What else do we got here? We have a little baby blanket here. Kind of feels like a washcloth, so I guess you could probably use this if, well, he can't go in the bath, but you could use it for her, for her bath. Almost. Keep hitting the camera. I need a better camera setup, more professional. All right, so here is our little baby boy. So cute. Let's show his face up close. That is what he looks like. And I thought his face was adorable. Like when I was ordering a doll's, I wouldn't order a doll if I didn't like the way its face looks. Like that is my number one thing. I think if I don't think his face is cute, I'm not gonna order it. But I thought his face was so cute. Just his eyes and his little smiling mouth kind of adorable. Let's see if his hat comes off. It's, oh, his hat comes his, his hat comes all the way off. That's good. Doesn't have a string or anything. It would kind of be nice if it was attached because with little kids, if you're giving this to a little kid, probably the hat's gonna get lost. Um, but anyway, look at his hair. His hair is very detailed. You kind of see like the strands of hair and everything. So that is really cute. Love that. He has a little onesie kind of sleeper outfit on. Let's take this off and just see what his body looks like. So he is cloth. You cannot put him in the bath. <laughs> you can pretend, but no real water. I'm gonna undress him because I want to see how it is to get his clothes back on. I mean, I'm an, I'm an adult, so <laughs> I don't think it'll be hard for me to get his clothes back on. But for little kids, it's always kind of it's always kind of tricky to get their clothes back on, no matter what. But so that is what he looks like with his clothes off. He's got a cloth body. His hands are pretty cute. Let's see if we can get a close-up of his hands. There we go. I was having trouble focusing on his hand. But we've got some realistic lines in his hand. Super cute. Five fingers. <laughs> That's good. Bottoms of his feet have a little bit of detail to them. I think the other doll has a little bit more, but I did notice this. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. He's got like little ankle rolls. That is adorable. Focus. Oh, there we go. That is so cute. Kind of obsessed with that. Oh, she does kind of have this too. And I didn't notice it before. I was looking at the lines in her feet, but she kind of has a little ankle rolls too. And like behind her legs, she's got wrinkles behind her legs. See, that is the kind of, that's the kind of details that I'm talking about that I love. So cute. I almost forgot about the pacifier. It comes with a little pacifier, which is nicely attached to his clothes. So that is great because this would definitely get lost. Um, let's see if it will stay in his mouth though. It does stay in his mouth. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I love that. And he doesn't come with a diaper either. I feel like every doll should just come with a diaper, but. These two didn't. Maybe I'll order some more in the future and like the more expensive ones will come with a diaper. I don't know, but that is adorable. So he's got his little pacifier. This is a pretty nice hat. It has a little piece of elastic on the back, which helps it like stay on. A lot of times with baby doll hats, they'll just, they fall off really easily. But that is nice. Nice and snug on his head. So there are my very first JC Toys dolls, Beringer, Beringer, I think that's how you say it, Beringer Boutique. Um, I don't think all of them are designed by Beringer, but these two are, and that's why they are so cute. Um, I'm really happy with them, and I'm excited to get some more and open them for you guys. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and my little review, and I'll see you all for my next video. Bye!